people will say, we wouldn't be having this conversation if there was not a CCTV footage mm -hmm. that showed, you know, you pulling a gun and shooting I don't want to DJ talk Ball. about the issue of DJ Ball. And don't use the word shooting. Mm -hmm. You will be taken to law and to court and you, you will be arrested. What word should people okay. use? I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. You can see. How can, uh, how can news be aired from Monday, <coughs> 7 p.m., and again 9 p.m. and again 10 p.m. How can news be aired on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday? And some of those people have been sacked by NTV because the investigation that has been done is that they were bribed to go and do some of those interviews. Hello, welcome to this episode of Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, my guest today is Kenya's most talked about politician. He is hated and loved by Kenyans in equal measure. Today, they are praising him for his online classes, and then the next day, some are asking him to step down following Evo's accident. So without further ado, allow me to let him introduce himself. Hello. Hello, Lynn. How are you? I'm good. Please introduce yourself. Thank you very much. I'm uh, Babu Owino, your favorite son all the way from Embakasi's constituency mm -hmm. and uh, a member of parliament from the same Embakasi's constituency. A loving husband and a responsible father. And a responsible father. Extremely. And thank you so much, uh, Babu, for taking your time. You said Kenya's fav favorite son. Yes. Do you think that's what you still are at the moment? Of course it is. Why would you say that? You, you started by saying that you are loved and hated in equal measures. Uh. Even if Pope came today from Italy, from Rome, and said that uh, Babu Owino, let's forgive Babu Owino for this or that. If you hated me, you will still just hate me. Mm -hmm. But if you liked me, if you loved me, you will still love me. Mm -hmm. So I'm a favorite sign to those who love me. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, do you mind the hate and the criticism you get? It's part of politics. Those are occupational hazards. Mm -hmm. And we live with it. So right. it's, it's the whole package that comes with politics. Mm -hmm. So if it is what is being offered, then that's what I uh, consented to. <coughs> At the university, uh, I used to uh, uh, fight for the students' interest. And actually, those students who come from very poor backgrounds, I used to honestly and genuinely fight for their own interest. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, whenever any arm of the government or whenever a part of the government did not listen to the plea of the comrades, then we were resolving to some of the constitutional means like peaceful demonstration. Mm -hmm. During that time, Kenyans were condemning me. If you went to social media, everybody, this Babu Wino, Mara is a goon, he's rowdy, he's that. I had, nobody said that Babu Wino is an intellectual and they know that I'm also a, a very serious intellectual. And nobody commented about my intellectual capacity. But they were saying Babu is a goon, he's organizing demonstrations. But those, those, those demonstrations, were meant for the best interest of the students. Mm -hmm. If school fee was being increased to the students, what was I doing? I was simply trying to stop it. I, of course, dialogue is not a weakness, so I started by negotiation, I was starting by nego negotiating, and then when it fails, I was resolving to a constitutional means, mm -hmm. which is demonstration. Mm -hmm. So just because somebody was driving a car in town, and, uh, and, and uh, it happened that it was uh, one of the bad days of that person, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they found us on the streets, as being lobbed by the by the police then after that Babu must be blamed so it is a responsibility that I had to take as a leader I do agree that responsibility must be taken I took the responsibility for my students mm -hmm. and that's it so way back from that time those who hated me still hate me up to date those who loved me still love me up to date. Up to date. Yes. And um, talking of, you know, the mixed feelings you get, some people hate you and some people love you. Yes. The DPP thinks you need to step down. All the members of your constituency, they need to recall you. Yes. Do you think you need to step down? Number one, I'm a lawyer, a trained lawyer at the University of Nairobi. The law is clear. You are innocent until proven guilty. So any other ulabalu that is being peddled around is neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. I respect the DPP as an officer of the state. Let him restrict his duty within the precincts of the court. The, whatever he's trying to, uh, to prosecute in public mm -hmm. does not add value. It's not watertight to justify the conviction. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, that is daydreaming. The people of Embakasi's constituency elected me as their member of parliament. And I can assure you, 
as we speak, those people love me to death. As we speak, and as we speak, there is no any single person within Embakasi's constituency uh -huh. who can go against me in election. If elections were called today, I'd beat them 101 percent because of what I've done to my people. When you say the things you've done, yes. what are some of the things that you are currently doing to the yes. people of Embakasi is that they can point out and say, Babu did this. Thank you very much. Now, this is countless. If we start with uh, education, we've renovated various schools. <coughs> we've renovated Donham Primary School and constructed uh, 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 toilets which were missing, 20 door toilet there. We've renovated that school. And we are constructing a secondary school at Donham Primary School. We've supplied water tanks to all the uh, uh, primary schools and secondary schools within Embakasi East because water is one of the main challenges in Embakasi East constituency. When we come to roads, Miango, the road between the GSU all the way to Kayole has been done. Halingam Road at Choka has been done. Uh, St. Michael's Road at Choka has been done. We have put security high mast uh, in Miango at Choka uh, to enhance proper security within the area has been done. Within the constituency, I task the companies that are available in our constituency every year to employ our people. As we are speaking, there is a quick mat that is opening at uh, uh, Mbakasi Ward that is going to absorb around uh, 60 people mm, from, from Mbakasi. Mbakasi. And you so the DPP is not mm -hmm. my constituent, so let him not talk about matters Mbakasi's constituency. Mm -hmm. You believe yes. you've done the best you could as a leader? I've overworked. Mm -hmm. and I will still work for my people mm -hmm. and I'm going to deliver for my people. Come 2022, do you think you'll be re-elected? Now, when we come to 2022, I still have a contract between now and 2022, a contract to serve my people, a contract to deliver to the Mbakasi's constituents, a contract to ensure that that Mama Mboga graduates from selling Mboga to uh, hosting, holding, having a supermarket, a contract to ensure that that border border person graduates to buying a matatu. When that time comes, it is my people who shall judge me according to the work that I've done. Mm -hmm. So the power still rests with my people and that the people will decide. Mm -hmm. Some people think, you know, you've done a great job, but would you also, and that would make you a great leader, but would you also consider yourself a careless leader? Careless is in your state of mind. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is careless to you is not careless to me. Mm -hmm. yes. Some of the recent things that you've done mm -hmm. have made the public, you know, they, you have outraged the public. People are mad at you following DJ Evolve's accident. Is that something that you would want to comment about? A matter before a court of law. Mm -hmm. Let everybody wait for the court decision. Yeah, so as we speak, everybody's, everything is an allegation. As we speak, the way you saw things, that is the way they are. We came from a difficult moment, from the ICU to now. We should celebrate that improvement of life. Mm -hmm. Let's not put pressure on this person who is sick. What do, these, uh, what do these people want to achieve? You think this is a witch hunt? You can see. How can, uh, how can news be aired from Monday, <coughs> 7 p.m. and again 9 p.m. and again 10 p.m.? How can news be aired on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday? And some of those people have been sacked by NTV because the investigation that has been done is that they were bribed to go and do some of those interviews. People will say, we wouldn't be having this conversation if there was not a CCTV footage mm -hmm. that showed, you know, you pulling a gun and shooting. I don't want to DJ talk Evolve. about the issue of DJ Evolve. And don't use the word shooting. Mm -hmm. You will be taken to law and to court and you, you will be arrested. What word should people okay. use? I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. As we speak, and I don't want to sound arrogant or rude, mm -hmm. let us stop. That issue is a matter before a court of law. All right. The public is waiting for the court mm -hmm. to take its process. So let us wait for that process. Mm -hmm. And that is what you'd also want to wait for. We should not start uh, accusing uh, uh, as if everybody is righteous. Babu, mm -hmm. is there anything you regret at the moment? Let's not go, I know where you are driving at. No, 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 not in general. I, I know where you are driving at. It would be unfair for me to make you talk about this. I know where you are driving at, so let's go to the next question. All right. I don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you said we've come a long way from there to the from the ICU. I don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Another question. Did you or did you not pay the medical bill? You heard what everybody has been saying. Mm -hmm. Those who have the eyes shall see. Those who have the ears shall hear. That's it. That's it. Yes. And I know you said you are, some people perceive, you know, your confidence as arrogance. But do you think you are arrogant? Let me tell you something. The Bible says that humble yourself so that you can be exalted by God. You must be humble. You must humble yourself. Mm. So humility is a virtue. Personally, I have no arrogance. Why? Because I came from a very poor background. I have no business of being arrogant. It adds no value to my life. I came from a very poor background that when I see a part person, the first thing that I think about is how I can help this person. Mm. The way I talk at times is the way people may be thinking that, you know, his Babu is coming out as very arrogant. To them, that's it. Mm -hmm. But to me and my heart, I know humility is a virtue. Mm -hmm. Do you still think you will one day be Kenya's president? I think that is one of the things that brought me all these problems. Because when I posted the other day that uh, I'm, I'm part of the greater future of this nation, uh, everybody has dreams. That is not a dream for now. That is a dream for the foreseeable future. It's not something that I'm thinking about now. Now I'm thinking about working for the people of Mbakasi East. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the dream for the president, it is God who chooses leaders. And uh, if God chooses me, why not? Mm -hmm. And you believe you are the chosen one? I'm not lying to you, mm -hmm. but when the time comes, I'm just praying to the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Not now. So anybody who has a pres presidential ambition, please don't attack me for no reason. Now, 2022, my interest is to ensure that Baba becomes the president of this nation. And again, 2027, Baba becomes the president of this nation. Oh. 2032, if possible, Baba becomes the president of this nation. Mm. So if Baba can just become the president of this nation until kingdom come, comes, why not? Mm -hmm. That is our father, that is our God, uh, political godfather, mm -hmm. and uh, is my father. You know, yeah. apart from politics, Baba advises oh. me on matters family, on matters life. Mm -hmm. I so love him, I so cherish him. Mm -hmm. We have seen uh, people are back to politics. Mm -hmm. The BBI Matatu has kicked off. Huh? Mm -hmm. well, are you in support of the BBI? With, with all my body parts and organs. I'm in support of the BBI. I'm in support of uh, our president, His Excellency Uru Mwigai Kinyata. I'm in support of my, bad, my baba. BBI is a unifying factor. BBI will ensure that there is no more political animosity. People will not have to kill themselves after elections, the post-election violence. We will not have to lose properties. We will not have uh, to hate one another's stripes because we will have an inclusive system. And I say that BBI, there is a time I say that BBI fever is stronger than coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And indeed, BBI did not stop. We were just, we, we just paused. What inspired your online classes? During this corona period, I saw into it that there was a problem both by the government, to at, at least uh, 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 through the Ministry of Education, to get access to our children who are at home. Then I knew that I have a hidden talent from God. God blessed me with the brains. So I was sharing my talent with the children of this nation. Education is the key to success. I was sharing some of the keys to success, at least for our children to make it in life. And I want to convert those children from high, from high school students to university comrades. And I only urge parents and the relatives of these students just to listen to me. Just listen to me alone. I'm going to ensure that your children go to the university and will change uh, this nation will change the lives of so many people in this nation. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, you know, as an individual, how do you deal with some of the lowest moments in your life? I pray to God. I seek spiritual intervention. I kneel down and tell God to give me the courage, grant me the courage to go through this. That's it. My source of energy comes from the Almighty God. Mm. To the Kenyans who are watching you right now, what, what message would you like to send them? Number one, for those, uh, uh, for our students, remember, I'm your favorite teacher, Professor Babu Owino. For the rest of the Kenyans, I love you all. May God bless you. May God give you peace of mind. May God give you courage, the strength uh, uh, to go through this coronavirus. May God ensure that if you lack, you get something. And, uh, and uh, let's love one another. The greatest 
uh, commandment in the Bible is love. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Thank you.